All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show live. Okay, shout out to shout out to my boy uh, Film Bluff Community. Uh, he actually uh, sent this uh, this photograph to me, and uh, you know got the notification on my phone, and I just you know looked at it. I'm like, wow. You know, and I I was gonna talk about this, but then a lot of people made videos on this. So, I you know usually when a lot of people channels that I watch when they make videos about something and if I agree with it I just don't even make a video because it's pointless because I, I just be regurgitating the same thing that I believe so I don't make a video but this you know this is a little bit different okay you know I'm looking at this and you can see that the news media they're pretty much doing everything that they can to you know give this guy a pass uh, for shooting up a school full of people uh, innocent children and teachers yeah they're trying to give him a pass isn't that ironic, you know, how, you know, when an unarmed black man gets shot, they try to give him a criminal record or they try to say that his past is shady. But when an armed white kid goes into a school and shoots it up, they try to give him a medical illness. And that's the reason why he did what he did. Isn't that something? I always find that very, very funny about the media. And there's nothing funny about this situation. There's nothing funny about it at all. This guy went into a school and this hits close to home, shot up innocent teachers and students 17 okay he shot them up these kids at school they go in there you know their parents send them to school thinking they're gonna be safe you know to get education and then they get a, you know seeing on the news and you know they get a call and where well, their kid ain't coming home <laughs> like i don't care what kind of mental illness this person got you know what you go into a school you shoot up a school there's no coming back from that there, there's no coming back, and the media trying to give this guy a pass. You know what? The media need to get slapped, man. But see, that's what they always do. You know, the media always try to villainize black folks. It don't matter what they do. The media always try to villainize somebody black. And now they're trying to, you know, give a good reason to why this guy did this. Trying to understand why. You know, just like the, uh, the one guy, Stephen uh, Paddock, or whoever his name is, that, uh, you know, shot people from a, a hotel room in Vegas, you know, shooting people. They tried to actually, you know, try to, you know, figure out why this guy did that, too. And, you know, I'm sick of the news and just reporters trying to figure out why these guys, when they go and shoot these schools up, they try to figure out why they're doing this crap. <laughs> Unbelievable. But we can't give this a pass, man, because look at this, man. Okay, so they're saying the guy's mom and dad died. You know, that can be very traumatic for a child. It actually can but there are a lot of kids that's lost that, that's done lost both of their parents one of their parents they, they don't have any family and they're not going around shooting up schools you know because he had an issue with somebody at the school and that was on his mind so he kept that going for you know however many years he got expelled from the school but he got expelled from the school because he wasn't following the rules old stupid bastard he didn't follow the rules so he's upset with the school and so he wants to go and shoot up the school in a place that he didn't even follow the rules anyway. Amazing. Amazing. But the media want to give this guy, they want to feel so bad for this guy. You know, it's just so much that the media really want to put forth about this guy. And instead of just saying this guy was a terrorist, because that's what he was, a terrorist. That's what he is. And I know when he go to jail, and when he get to jail, trust me, it's not going to be a safe place for him. <laughs> when he get to jail, it's a wrap for him, okay? They're going to do everything, anything they want to this guy. And he might even lose his life going into jail. But I wonder if they're going to give him the death penalty. I wonder if they're going to go ahead and take that card out of there. He need a death penalty. He need a death penalty. I mean, you go in and you shoot up all, you shoot up those amount of people. 17. 17 people. Innocent people. They just at school trying to get an education. You go and you shoot them up. It's time for the death penalty. Should be no other answer. Coach, you a Christian, you supposed to forgive? Yeah, yeah. But I think if it was my daughter, you know, if it was my mom, if it was somebody I love, I, no. Sorry. I'd be there. I'd be right there. I'd be right there. I go to a parole hearing, what, uh, once every, uh, what, once every three years I go to a parole hearing for the guy to kill one of my athletes. Oh, trust me. Yeah, I'm supposed to forgive. We're supposed to do a whole lot of things. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm sick and tired of these guys that are shooting up these places. You know, they, they, they get to live the rest of their lives out. You know, they get to do everything. 
because they can just go and plead insanity. So I get sick of these guys shooting up these schools and then these guys become world famous. Everybody talking about them, but ain't, you know the media not really talking about individually each one of those kids that got that lost their lives. Nah, but we want to talk about the asshole that shot the school up. You know, we want to do a criminal profile. You know, we want to do a psychology study on the asshole that shot the school up. But them 17 kids that's not going home to their mom and daddy. Oh, OK. No, we need to talk about what made those kids special. What was good about those kids? Because see, you got some butthole. They just decided to just, you know, he played God and he took their life. He took their life because he thought he could. And the guy been giving all the telltale signs, but, you know, they blew it off. Now, had there been a black guy putting stuff online, like, and I'm going to give you an example. Town Business, all he did was show a photograph of a gun. And they took the video down quickly. Like, they thought that was a threat. YouTube and I guess authorities thought that was a threat. All he did was show a photograph of a gun. I'm talking about show his gun in a video. He didn't point it at somebody. He didn't, he wasn't saying that, you know, he was going, he was going, he said, I'm just going to use it. If you guys, you know, don't stop bothering me and my family, I'm going to use this gun to defend myself. That's what he said. But I'm putting it in my own words, but that's what he meant. Okay. It was a defense thing. This guy wasn't using that gun. The guns he was showing in his Instagram wasn't for defensive purposes. He said he was going to kill people. Just randomly do it because he felt like it. That's what he said. I mean, folks, <laughs> and this didn't throw up any red, flag, uh, red flags to any of these guys. These authorities, these quote unquote, these authorities didn't throw up any red flags. Hey, it's unbelievable, man. But, you know, it's very believable because this is how America works, man. You know what? This, this country is a satanic hellhole. It really is, okay? It's satanic. And it's kind of crazy, man. It's kind of crazy, you know? And, 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 you know, in some of it, a bit majority of it is because of the stuff, the poisons that we got, the foods that people eating that that's not good for you. They're trying to kill us off slowly. That's the subject for a whole nother video. You know, we would live to be about 200 years old and in our right mind if it wasn't for, you know, what man doing. And some of that stuff done filter over to other parts of the world. I mean, man, look, we got this country evil, man. It's a lot of evil going on. I mean, you know, it's evil when people, they're applauding, you know, people that's 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 gunning down people, that they're trying to stand up for cops that's killing unarmed people. You know it's pure satanic evil going on. That's what it is. But I tell y'all what, I tell you guys what, if the death penalty don't come to this guy, okay, if the death penalty don't come to this guy, and if he don't get exactly what's coming to him, we already know what's going on now. Guys, we about in the last times, and I'm telling y'all, <laughs> we about in the last times. Whether you believe it or not, we're in the last times. Because, you know, I always said that when the last times are on their way, you know, evil becomes good and good becomes bad. People who are doing good, they're getting crucified. But people who are doing bad, they're getting honored. We're in the last times, y'all. And this Cruz guy, he's going to get a pass from the media. He's going to get an outright pass. They're going to give him an excuse for why he did what he did. They're going to do all of that for him because he's got that privilege. And that, well, that's just the way that is. I'm done.